my channel. I haven't filmed a tutorial in like two weeks. I've been really busy lately, but today I finally had time to film. This is my springtime pop of color tutorial. I have a pop of purple underneath my eyes. Sorry, my camera isn't the best, so it really can't pick up how vibrant the purple actually looks in real life. But you can use any color that you want. You can do pink, green, or blue for springtime. Really any pastel -y pretty color works. I just think purple screams springtime, so I chose purple. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, then don't click away. Okay, so to start this look off, I'm going to prime my eyelids using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I only use this primer when I'm doing my eyeshadow first. Usually I'll just use concealer over my eyes to prime them, but today, since we are doing our eyes first, I'm going in with this primer. I just use a little bit, about that much, and sweep it all over my eyes. Okay, so today I'm just going to keep the eyes really simple, the top part of my eyes. I'm using this little palette that I just like kind of made. This is just a Z palette you can get on Amazon. And these colors are just a mixture of Makeup Geek and MAC. So today I'm going to start off with Soft Brown by MAC. It's this top shade right here. And I'm going to put that in the crease of my eye. We're just going to go in with like one or two shadows for this. So I'm just taking this fluffy blending brush. This is the Morphe M505. Just gonna go in and blend it out. Okay, and then for the second color, I'm using the color Saddle, which is right below the soft brown. It's a lot warmer in tone. Just blend in the saddle on top of the soft brown just to make it a little bit darker. Okay, cool. So that is done. For our lids, I'm using just a nice cream color. I'm going in with the color Cream by Lorac. This is my like go-to cream color shade. It's the wrong brush. It's like my go-to cream color shade, um, but you can use any that you have. I'm just going to pop that on my lids. Now for liquid liner, I'm applying my NYC liquid liner, my favorite, and I just bought this one, so it's brand new. Wing liner is on, and now I'm going with mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational Mascara. My sister bought this and I tried it and it works so good. Guys, I think I found a new favorite. It makes your lashes literally, they look like fake lashes when you're done. Like it looks so good. So apply your mascara, use whatever kind you want, but use this one because it's the best. Like look at the difference between this eye and this eye. What? What? Okay, so mascara is on. We are going to leave the eyes alone for now. We're going to go back to them in a little bit. But right now, I'm going in with foundation. I'm using a oldie but a goodie L'Oreal True Match. I'm using the color W4. It's a little dark, but I did just go to the beach, so I got a little bit of a tan. My face looks so white, though, compared to, like, my arm. Oh, my God. So I'm just going to dot this all over my face. All right, and then taking my Morphe M439 brush, I'm going to blend in this foundation. All right, my hair is looking like a lion, so I'm going to put this back really quick. <laughs> it's getting in my way. Okay. All right, now for concealer, I'm using this NYX HD Concealer. This is in the color CW03. It's really pink, so if you have really, like, dark bluish toned under eyes, this will really help to counteract that. I get a lot of blue, especially in this inner part of my eye. It gets so like blue green. So I always make sure to put it way up in there and then just blend the rest down. I'm gonna use this um, concealer to highlight my face too and kind of cover up all these new freckles I got on the tip of my nose from the beach. Hmm. All right, using this Real Technique sponge, I'm gonna blend it all out. Right, to set my concealer I'm using Tarte's Smooth Operator Loose Powder. I want this look to be very bright 
and pretty for springtime. All right, time to fill in them brows. I'm using both my NYX brow pencils, of course, of course, of course. Just gonna brush them out first and then fill them in. Okay, so now to get this look a pop of color, I'm using the color Caitlin Rose by Makeup Geek. It is this purple color right here. It's so pretty and it's perfect for springtime. So I'm going to put that on a definer brush, a brush that looks like this. It's short and it's thin so you can get right super close to the lash line. So I'm going to dip my brush in this color. I'm going to really pack it on and I'm going to drag it underneath my entire lash line from outer corner to inner corner. Just take this brush and line your bottom line. I almost, because this is a foil shadow, I almost just kind of tap right underneath it kind of like this instead of swiping it, just because you get more pigment that way. Okay, so to make it even more purpley, purpley, I am going to take the color Burst Into Bloom. This is a L'Oreal pressed pigment. It's super pretty. And I'm just gonna layer it up. So I'm just gonna pop that on top of the other purple that we used all right so i got my purple shadow on my bottom i don't know if my iphone camera can pick up how purple it is but in real life it's pretty bam in your face now i'm going in with rimmel mascara and the rimmel lash accelerator mascara and i'm just going to coat my bottom lashes okay for around my face i'm using max mineralize mineralize <laughs> Okay, so for around my face, I'm using MAC's Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Medium Deep just to kind of warm up my skin a little bit. Oh no, how did that even happen? That's okay, to clean that up, we're just going to take a Q-tip and kind of swipe it. Alright, I really want my cheeks to be really pink and girly and springtime appropriate, so I'm using Tarte's Epic blush it looks like this it's really pink and it's really pretty and i'm going to focus on the apples of my cheeks just to have that nice youthful look this will make your face look a little bit more round if you have a long face if you want your face to look rounder <laughs> i don't know what you want but yeah all right, so I'm editing my video right now, and I realized that I didn't have a clip of me doing my highlight, so I'm just going to show you guys really quick, so the lighting's a little bit different right now. But I used Becca Champagne Pop with this Morphe M501 brush. I'm just going to kind of dip it in and brush it over the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my other cheek. Yeah, I'll just be extra highlighted. All right, for my lip, I want a really pink, pretty nude lip. So for the first layer, I'm using NYX's Extreme Lip Shine Lip Cream in the color Nude Peach Fuzz. Peach Fuzz. Oh, wow, this is super pigmented. Just kidding y'all this this looks hideous <laughs> I don't like how that looks so we're going to kind of wipe that off a little bit I'm actually going to try Gerard Cosmetics buttercream from what I remember this dries really pink so we'll see it needs something else okay I'm gonna layer on this color charmed it's um, from Victoria's Secret. It's a gloss. I just don't like how pink this is. I'm going to tone it down just a little bit. Okay, that looks better. All right, so if you're confused by that, I put this NYX shine on first, and then I put buttercream on, and then I put this one on. Three of these created this. Cool. I'm going to take my hair out. Flip it. All right, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you really soon. Bye.
even know what that, I think that was from my mascara. <sighs> this, this video is trying me. There have been so many issues filming this. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.